We're about 15 seconds away from that entry burn. We're going to wait for that visual confirmation the burn started and call out that that engine burn was successful. this morning at 8.16 a.m. Eastern Time. Our first stage successfully separated from the second stage, but unfortunately we did get confirmation that we were not able to land that first stage today. We are obviously disappointed, but our primary mission on second stage is still on target to drop our Starlink satellites to their deployment orbit. So we did get confirmation of deployment, and there is that live view. So you can see on your screen, the satellites are slowly separating away from the second stage. And over the next few weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and eventually use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their final orbit. Based on data from the Copernicus Sentinel 5P satellite, this animation shows the variation of nitrogen dioxide emissions from the 20th of December 2019 to the 16th of March 2020.